In this video, we are investigating a uh, antifreeze uh, leak, and so this one was uh, it was filled up, and so that's the uh, reservoir. It was filled up, and then now you see it's way down, and so it's leaking. And now, if you look at the uh, okay the radiator, so it it still has uh, antifreeze. The reason is because it's not completely out yet, uh, meaning that uh, once there's no more in the reservoir, but this one will uh, will start to uh, to leak, and so we are down, and it's already dried, but you can see the uh, the uh, the path. That's where uh, the uh, the leak. So the leak uh, came up. I saw it was uh, down here dripping from uh, uh, from he uh, from here, but that doesn't mean that it's right. It's right here, so it could be a hose uh, anywhere. But the the water just uh, flow and follow a uh, a better path. So what we are going to do here is uh, I'm uh, going to uh, remove this. Uh, uh, cover here uh, I'll call it mud, uh, mud guard or anything you can call it but that's to protect the uh, yeah the part so it has uh, several bolts you can see here As you see okay little bolt here and then uh, there's another one here and then some fasteners so let's do that and before so we can see exactly where the leak is coming Okay, so we are uh, under the uh, vehicle, of course, and that's the uh, that's the one of the uh, two hoses uh, connected to the uh, radiator. That's the uh, bottom one, I think. That's the return one. Yes, yeah, the return one, and uh, you can see it is all dried. There's nothing around it. Uh, there's no leak, no moisture. And so let's just follow along. And these are condens uh, condenser uh, line. So uh, yeah, don't worry about those. And now this is where I suspected the leak was. And then that's where it is. So now you can see here, that's also to cool off the uh, yeah, the system, and it, that's a uh, high power line. And even though it's a, it's rusty, but it's not leaking. And I looked, and I see the leak. Stuff are falling in my face. The, yeah, the leak is on the the bottom of the radiator, uh, somewhere around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here. That's where it is. So there's no hose, nothing to clamp. Uh, yeah, so what I, the only thing I need to do, or there are two things, I can replace the radiator or buy a, uh, a stop leak and add it uh, to the uh, radiator, which is what I'm going to do. So to do this job, you can um, either add it to the uh, reservoir and it will uh, go down to the radiator but if you have access to the radiator then you add it directly into the radiator which i will do so now i have to go to the uh, auto parts store or walmart and get a stop leak for the radiator i went to uh auto parts or AutoZone, and i bought this uh radiator uh um, stop leak and uh, this one it it requires uh that we put it directly in the radiator not the uh overflow or the reservoir 
So now you see as the because uh, the radiator is uh, is full and so I'm going to uh, drain a little bit out of it from the bottom using the uh, the uh, the drain plug uh, uh, down there. Every radiator has a uh, drain a drain plug and this one it was so obvious and I didn't see it I looked uh, all over because generally they don't look like this they uh, they have a little bit of a, a head uh, where you hold it but uh, this one is uh, is a screw so you see how um, it's still uh, it's leaking it's dripping and and I haven't even I have not even started the car yet so to uh, to do this, I will uh, loosen it up and remove uh, some, and uh, and then put this uh, put it back. Find out right where it's gonna be coming out. Hopefully, it's the same hole. I don't want these things to fall at me. Okay, it's coming. There we go. It's coming slowly, dripping. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Just let it. I'm gonna let it drip like this slowly. Because I don't need to remove a lot. All right, so it is low enough, so I can go, just go ahead and uh, and stop it down there. Okay. All right, now it's, it is tight. So I'm going to clean this, I mean to dry it. Okay, that's how I know if it's still leaking. So just to, to, to dry this area off. All right, so now it's time to uh, add this directly into the uh, radiator. That's all of it. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of pellets in there, but the uh, they will go in. Ouch! Looks like I need. Uh, looks like I need to remove uh, a little bit more. And according to the instructions, once you um, added the uh, the stop leak in there, you fill it up with uh, water and the reservoir as well. And then you drive the vehicle or you let it run for 15 minutes. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, mission accomplished. I put the, uh, the cover back and I let it run for 20 minutes, but only uh, 15 minutes is required. And so... So far, so good. Didn't lose any water. So, yeah. And then uh, in the next uh, couple of days, and I will be uh, watching the uh, yeah the level of the water on the reservoir. So, quick fix. Thanks for watching.